Communication Service has released a press statement. The assistant headmaster in charge of academics at Inquitia Press BSHS has been sacked. Now, I made a video yesterday talking about this issue. This um, student of Inquitia Press BSHS just said something happened and the her assistant headmaster in charge of academics did this to her. Now, Ghana Education Service has released a press statement. I have the full gist for you. I'm the headless YouTuber, the headless reactions. I'll tell you. Sir, we'll be a buyer head teacher in Ayano and a Julian of Free School where Baby teacher in Abuno. Sir, a free school will be to one crown and the consacolan is to say, One Christian will boon him in the meaning I see, Untimi and Catani, Untimi and Impu. Sir, Tino, Gun education for a debetrum at the bow, or Buna may Muja Deni, Muja Nadine Nisano, Muja Nadine Nisano. Screening for national. Screening for national. And I'm of free screen baby. Is it is on the never call na Aklano on the never call eye clinic. Eye clinic and I say was putting one for an uncle Nashi Scumosa. Is it a clan any if la Nason so Casa on Shed Antini? Small, you know, in the school mom screen uniform in the new and same cracker. On screen uniform in the and in the knee. I made a video about this yesterday where um, this video was trending all over social media. A student of Inquitia Press BSHS, she said she went out with Eziat. She went out, that's the story that came. She went out of school with Eziat, but her headmaster thought she went out without Eziat. And even though she was trying to explain herself, she wasn't listened to. She was made to kneel down and then... She said she wasn't feeling well. Headmaster said, and I'll lash you for you to feel well. And while he was going to lash her, she held the cane. And then he used his hands. And after this happened, they didn't give the girl any proper care in the school. They just gave her paracetamol to take care of the pain. Now, she has been in school for about two weeks, written exams. Now, the lady's eyes are somehow closing. And she's having hearing problems. It's now that they've sent the lady home to go and get treatment. And this story has spread all over social media. A lot of people are saying a lot of things. Even somebody came out to say that um, her sister also attends the same school. And her sister told her that um, aside this that happened to the girl, no? the other teachers were more treating her to the extent of letting uh, the girl alone write her exams in the staff common room, when everyone else was writing in their classroom or assembly hall or wherever. Now, this has triggered the Ghana Education Service, and they've released a statement, press release, alleged assault at Inquitia Presby Senior High School. The attention of management of Ghana Education Service, GES, has been drawn to a disturbing picture of a student of Inquitia Presby Senior High School assaulted by the assistant headmaster academics of the school. The GES unequivocally condemns the actions of the assistant headmaster who is supposed to ensure that students and teachers operate in a safe school environment. That is the function of the headmaster. Now, headmaster academics, their yours is to take care of the academic part, whether the children are going to class or not. But you are going to throw your hands. <laughs> safe environment. In Tuasso, the Eastern Regional Director of Education is liaising with the school authorities and the relevant law enforcement agencies to investigate the matter. Meanwhile, the assistant headmaster has been relieved of his duties and the student is receiving medical care and counseling. The counseling is very important. Yanko, Ghana Education Service assures the general public that we are committed to ensuring a safe and secure learning environment for all students across the country. A safe and secure learning environment. The food that you people are serving the kids in school, no? It's not safe, oh, it's not safe. <laughs> I, it's not safe. But yeah, we'll talk about that later. So this is the press release that came from Ghana Education Service. Now, a lot of diverse opinions
opinions are on social media. A lot of diverse opinions. First off, nothing should permit a headmaster to do this to any student. To use your hand on any student. Nothing should permit this. It is not acceptable in any way. And also picking on a student. Like I said in the previous video, I don't have a problem with a student writing examination in the staff common room. If you know, you know. If you know that thing, if you have learned, you know. But at the same time, why should you single out one student to come from where, from her classroom and only that student is writing her exams in the staff common room? Why should you do that to the girl? That is the question me personally I want to ask. Now, people are saying different things. That we need to hear from both sides. That uh, some of these students, some teachers are saying that some of these students now they are very stubborn. Parents have failed in raising responsible children and respectful children. And these children, when they go to their school, the way they behave towards the teachers, the way they insult the teachers, the way they, they kind of challenge their teachers. So if you are a teacher and you don't have heart or you don't have patience, then you might do something that will land you in trouble. I understand that. Some of us were very stubborn in SHS. But that doesn't give anybody, any teacher, any housemaster, any headmaster the right to come and use physical blows on somebody. No, 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 no. People are stubborn. There are lots of punishments that are meted out to stubborn students. Nail down, go and scrap, go and weed, go and do this, go and do fight. I know they are normal. But to come and do blows. Did I take my child to school? I took my child to boxing academy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Did I take my child to school? Or to boxing academy? For you to come and give blows and slap. For black clots and stuff like that on somebody's face. Somebody's child, though, after paying school fees or whatever, tuition fee or whatever, whether free SHS or whatever, somebody has given birth to a, a, his or her child, and you are coming to do this to somebody's child. I understand that some, some students are very stubborn, but still, it doesn't give anybody the right to do this to somebody's child. So like GES is saying, that they are going to investigate into the matter Every other teacher who is responsible or is, is affiliated to this should be brought to book for single, a singling out this girl, whatever she has done or her lifestyle in school. No? I don't know whether she's a bad girl in school, whether she's a stubborn girl in school. In the video there, she's standing very, very quiet too. That one, they're normal. A lot of people are bad in school, but when they go home, they're angels. So that one, they're... Normal, but what I'm saying is no matter how bad she is in school, there are lots of other ways of correcting people. Blows, physical slap is not part. Let's just understand this. So yes, the headmaster has been relieved of his duties and they are going to do investigation. While they do the investigation, they should make sure that they don't cover up some things for some people. If legal action needs to be taken, it should be taken. If somebody needs to be compensated, the person should be compensated. If somebody needs to go to counter back or go to jail for like a week or two, the person should go. GES. This is just a, an advice. I don't, I don't know. So yes, this is so far what has happened in this case. Watch the other video for more details in the, into the matter. What happened in the school and all that. You know, watch the other video. And also watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah, pong.